Today I'm going to take apart this faulty GFCI outlet. When it was installed, the test button tripped the outlet, but the reset button, when I pushed it, it did not stay in, and the orange light stayed on forever, and the outlet did not get any power. So I'm going to take it apart, and maybe we can see what went wrong inside. It's held together by four screws, and also some annoying plastic pegs. So I will remove the screws and plastic pegs. So I destroyed those four plastic pegs, and let's remove the last screw. There's probably going to be a spring on the inside. Because I think I took one of these apart in an earlier video. And it had a spring inside. So this one might have one inside. So this screw is pretty interesting. It's got one section with no threads and a section with some threads. And also there is some text on the front of the outlet. interesting and also there is a sticker that said not for use in wet and damp locations which I think means don't use this outlet outside and also there is one of these warranty void if removed stickers but now let's open this thing up I will change the screwdriver tip. <clears throat> okay. Oops. Oh, I see some metal piece on the inside. Okay, yes, there is a spring on the inside. This is the grounding terminal, I think. A clear plastic piece, I think, was inside here, fell out. Hmm. Does this work? The reset button has a nail on it. The test button pushes something on the inside. I think it pushes this, so let's take it out. There's another spring. It is just weird. There's some contacts down here, the main power connections here. So I'll open the electronic section now. This was a little crazy because the electronic section oops, is filled with quite a lot of parts. There is a coil here, some spring thing, which is like a lever I think. Let's try to pull it out. It's like a lever. That's interesting. And that is what I think this the reset button went into. There are some contacts here. Which can push down. There is an LED something here. Another thing here. S something which has some sort of sealant around it. Some more contacts go under it. And also the main power input terminals go into this coil through the center bit and then out to those I think this thing is so weird I'll try to remove the board next so I removed the electronics from the plastic case and also I had to remove some of the screw terminals to get it out of the plastic case so let's look at the circuit board so on the bottom side got some components. 
some are under this sealant. There's a wire on the board, which is a little interesting. That solenoid thing is a plunger that pushes in. That, that is probably what holds the reset button in. And when the outlet failed by not being able to reset, this plunger probably opened like this and then couldn't and then it couldn't hold the reset button in probably there's a little LED for the indicator the trip indicator some capacitor looking thing I'll try to zoom in okay there's a big disk capacitor thing here there's its text, and this was pretty interesting. So this is what is inside of a GFCI power outlet.